Langley Kirkwood is joining me in studio. You can catch him on the big screen later on this year in Tiger House. He's going to introduce us to what you can expect from that action-packed film. Hello. Hello. Thank you for joining me. It's a pleasure. Thanks for having me. I understand you got stuck in some Cape Town traffic on the way here. Yeah. It's the problem of having one, one road uh, in and out of Hout Bay. Mm. And uh, yeah, I got stuck on the wrong one. I think everyone in Hout Bay can resonate with you right now. <laughs> Now, Tiger House, I mentioned it in my introduction. It's yep. coming out later this year. It's about a heist gone wrong. It sounds yep. very interesting. Why don't you introduce us to the storyline? Mm -hmm. um, I guess as much as you can tell us about the storyline. Sure. Yeah. Um, basically, it's, uh, it, it is, as you mentioned, it's a film about a, house, a heist. Uh, Tom Daly directs the film. Uh, it's his first feature film. He's directed a lot of theater. Um, directed some high-end video games, but this is his first foray into feature film. And it's essentially a gang of four thugs who invade a home uh, to kidnap the, I suppose, the, the father figure, the, the, the head of the household who is a bank manager. They, they kidnap him to basically take him to the bank, use him as a hostage, to infiltrate the bank and rob the bank. Okay. Unbeknownst to them, there is... Uh, and a rather unlikely hero uh, or heroine hiding out in the house. And uh, she is the young girlfriend of the teenage son mm -hmm. in the story. And uh, she had crept in in the early hours of the morning to visit her boyfriend. Uh, she is a gymnast, among other things, and uh, she proves to be a rather able-bodied, uh, uh, what would the word be? Um, she basically foils or she throws a spanner into the works, I should say, for the gang. And uh, she proves to be quite a handful in terms of them having to overcome <laughs> certain things. It sounds quite action-packed. How do you, how do you, <laughs> how do I throw teasers out there without, without, without spoiling the plot? Don't spoil it. No, I can't. I'm not allowed. <laughs> you play Svet. Sveta. Sveta, sorry, yeah. Sveta. Sveta is a, uh, is a character from Serbia. Uh, he's a former Serb soldier, kind of ex-special forces, mm -hmm. who's found as... Uh, the, the film is set in the UK. Um, and, uh, but shot here in South Africa? Shot here in South okay. Africa for the UK. Okay. Uh, and Sveta's been working kind of in security as a bouncer and floating around doing odd jobs with a mate of his uh, by the name of Reg. Reg is a South African, also kind of ex-military, ex ex-mercenary, um, played by Brandon Orette. And the two of them are, you know, pretty tight. And they, uh, they get involved in this, in this heist because they know the guy who's, uh, I suppose, the, the gang leader, uh, who uh, also has a military background mm -hmm. and... Uh, where it kind of goes a little bit pear-shaped is that they, they bring this young, slightly volatile, not quite right in the head um, character along with them. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> um, and, uh, and yeah, the, his volatility together with our heroine's uh, yeah. bravery, I suppose, makes things rather interesting for them. Brandon is great, but he's always mm. playing thugs. Well, you know... <laughs> <laughs> Why is Brandon always playing a thug? I don't know. I guess he's just got that kind of face. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I won't tell him you said that. No, because he's a teddy bear. So he's, you know, he's, he's a soft, gentle guy, mm -hmm. but obviously has a knack for playing bad guys on screen, mm -hmm. um, which I can relate to. I don't, I don't tend to play too many good guys, but... Um, I'm not a bad guy, I promise. No, I, I can tell from the <laughs> last 20 minutes or so that you're not a bad guy. What's it like preparing to, to play these roles where, where you have to be the bad guy? Do you have, how do you get into that mindset? You know, it's, it's, um, it's often quite liberating and it's uh, therapeutic, I guess, to be able to explore the dark side of one's psyche with, with the safety net of knowing that this isn't actually you. Mm -hmm. You're representing somebody. Um, and at the end of the day, someone will shout cut and you can get back to being you again. So uh, it's, it's actually a lot of fun. You get to go places that you would be perhaps, you know, you just w wouldn't be morally inclined to mm -hmm. go. 
as oneself. So you can you can you can really play with the darker side of the human psyche of mm -hmm. humanity, um, and and I suppose explore that whole that whole world. You know, not all villains are necessarily cut and dried all bad. You right. know, most of us have light and shade, and uh, I think the most interesting characters are usually. You know, characters where there is some kind of moral tussle happening within. Mm -hmm. uh, and I, I, I like to play those kind of characters. Now, I'm always interested in the accents. What's yeah. the hardest accent that you've ever had to portray? Um, well, yeah, gee, that's a tough question. You know, I don't know. I don't know what, because there's, I suppose... I've played Russian and I've played Serbian, mm -hmm. and they're both very similar. Those are kind similar. of, I've played. You know, the, the, these Eastern European accents are similar, and if you listen to to clips, to audio clips of them, they're very subtle differences. And often the, those accents change depending on how those people learn to speak English. Yeah. For instance, a Serbian person who's learned to speak English in America sounds very different to someone who's learned to speak English in England. You know. Um, I guess the most difficult accent to play for me has been Russian. Russian? Yeah. I always ask because I'm so bad at accents. So <laughs> it amazes me when actors can, can do these different accents and yeah. make them sound so authentic. I think it's a mindset thing as well. Mm -hmm. I think if you're familiar with, the, and if you've been to the place, it certainly helps. Mm -hmm. And if you can kind of get inside the mindset of the people that live in the, in the, in the specific place, then... That also helps. Uh, and some actors just have a knack for accents and, and others don't. And yeah. It's just, yeah, one of those things. <laughs>